In this video, you're going to learn how to create a professional website under 10 minutes. You will learn how to create and customize the navigation menu, insert images, text, different sections, customize multiple pages. You will learn how to create a contact page so people can email you directly from your website. You will see that customizing all these different sections is very easy. You will have a sidebar along the way to help you customize and put your own content. To create this website, we're going to use WordPress, a system that allows you to manage the content of your site. Here are examples of sites created with WordPress, the Walt Disney Company, also Sony Music. To create our website, we also need a domain name, like here, sonymusic.com. And we need a hosting plan to store our content, a server. To get these two, we're going to use a company named SiteGround. You'll find a link in the description below with a special discount. Once we're on SiteGround, we're going to choose WordPress hosting. Click on get started. Today we're creating one site. We're going to choose the starter plan with a special price of $3.95 a month. And you can create one website. To start with this plan, click on get plan. Here on this page, you can choose your domain name. The domain name is charged $15.95 per year. So here you enter the domain you wish to have and you click on proceed. If the domain name is not available, SiteGround will tell you and you'll have to choose a domain name that's available. And click on proceed. On this page, you can see that my domain is available for registration. So here you create your account, you put your email, password, your name, address, your payment information, and this is where you verify the hosting service. So we chose start a plan, you can leave the data center by default. And here that's where you choose the billing period. So if you want to go with one month, 12 month, 24 or 36. Here, the longer you go, the bigger the discount. Once you've entered your purchase information and you've agreed with the total here, you can click on confirm and pay now. Now that your account is created, you are redirected to this page. You'll receive an email with your user ID, password within an hour, but you usually get it right away. Click on proceed to customer area, start a new website, WordPress. Here you enter your email address, a username, a password, and confirm. Here, SiteGround offers privacy services regarding your website. I personally do not need this. Click confirm. Here you confirm and click on complete setup. And click on customer area. Now that you are on your customer portal, click on my account and you can access your website by clicking here. Here it is already online. It might take up to 24 hours, but here it was instant. Before we start with customization, we're going to install an SSL certificate. This will protect your site against attacks and it will help your site with SEO. Click on cPanel, proceed, go down to security, then click on let's encrypt, click on get wildcard, here confirm. The SSL is now installed and your website secured. Go back to my account, admin panel. Here you enter your username, password, and click login. Here you can click exit. Once we are on the WordPress dashboard, we're gonna install a theme. We're gonna go under appearance, themes. Then we're gonna click on add new. And today we're going to choose the Astra theme. Click on search themes, go ahead and type Astra, and you're gonna click on install and activate. Then you're gonna click on Astra options. And the first thing we wanna do, once under Astra options, we wanna import starter site. So we're gonna click on install importer plugin. Once it's activated, we're gonna click on C library, click on Elementor, and here you have access to to a library of different themes. In this video, we're going to choose this one, AC Technician. Click on it, 
and then we're going to click on install plugins you want to make sure you install all the plugins and once all the plugins are activated you're going to click on import this site you're going to click on OK once everything has been imported you're going to click on done view site and there you go you now have this beautiful theme that is installed and now we're going to learn how to customize it so the first thing we want to customize the menu bar right here the header so to do that we're going to click on customize then the customize option lets you change anything related to the layout the colors backgrounds typography buttons menus widget and any appearance setting of your theme so if you look at your menu bar you can see that you have some pencil you're going to click on the icon right here this is where you can change the logo so you can either remove it or change logo if you want to change logo you click on it and then you can bring a file from your computer let's say you already have your own logo or you can import any images that are from the library this is also the place where you want to change the site title this is the automatic tagline that's created with WordPress so feel free to put your own here uh, this tagline will show on the Google search when people look for your website so you might want to customize it as well now let's say we want to customize the pages right here so we're going to click on the pencil right here and then that's where we can change our primary menu we can click on edit menu so this is where you can customize the menu that's in the header so let's say you want to rename the home page. You click on the page and then here where it says navigation label, you can just select and rename the page. And you can see that all changes are instant. Now let's say you want to remove a page from your menu. You're just going to click on remove right here and you see the page disappears. Now if you want to rearrange the order of the menu, you can easily drag any pages wherever you want it to be and you can see that the order changed. You can see that right here we have some social media icon and I want to customize it so I'm going to click on this pencil right here and click to edit this widget. And this is where you can change and customize all the social media icon. Facebook, Twitter, here you can change the size, the colors, this is where you can remove, you can also add more. Here this is where you pick your icon so let's say you want to add a YouTube icon, you click on it and click save. This is where you type the URL or hashtag. And then if you want to save the changes, you click apply. So now you know how to customize the main header right here. There's plenty of options here. I recommend you try it out. The good thing about WordPress is, let's say I don't like any of the changes I made. I can just click on close right here and I'm not going to publish it right here, I'm just going to click on OK and it's going to cancel any of the changes I made. So I click on OK and see my home page is back, uh, the order is back, the original social media icons are back. So this is the great thing, you can always change it, but if you don't like what you did, you can always come back and close without saving. Now let's look at the page itself and see how we can add our own content. That's where we're going to use Elementor, which is the page builder that you have installed with the Astra theme. So to start customizing the page, we're gonna click on Edit with Elementor. And this is where you have access to all the changes you can make on any pages of your website. Here you can see that the pages is made of different sections that you can access separately and this is how you customize them all. Now let's say we want to customize the first one. So you click on edit section right here. Here they let you know that you can right click at any time to access the settings. Okay, so here let's say I want to change the image right here. So I'm just going to click on the image. I'm going to click on the left corner right here and click under style. And here we have access to our image. We can click on it. You can upload any of your own images or click on the media library. Once you chose your image, you're gonna click on insert media and you can see that the image is being replaced. Now let's say we wanna change the title right here. So you just click on it. This is where you change the title. 
you can add a link to it by pasting a URL or typing it. If you want to change the tagline, just click on it. Same thing right here. Same thing with the bottom right here. This is where you change the text. This is where you change the link. The alignment, you can change the size. And you can also change the icon. Now let's say you want to change the color in the back. You're going to click right here, click on edit, style, and this is where you change the color. You can pick any other color you want. So this is how you change an image and the text. You can do the same thing here. You can always customize everything on the left bar. So you just click and then you get access and then you can change. Here we have different websites where people leave reviews. So let's say you want to add your our Yelp link. So you're going to click on it. And then you're going to click on link, custom URL. And this is where you add your link, your Yelp accounts URL. Here, same thing. You want to change the text. The image is right here. Same thing for the footer right here. Now let's say you made a bunch of changes and you still don't like it. You can access your history. And here you can go back to any changes that you've made one by one and you can always go back. Once you've made your changes you're going to click right here on update and it's going to save your changes. And you could click on preview changes. All the customization can be done on all of these pages. On the about page we have some numbers right here. Let's say we want to change this. So same thing. We click on edit with Elementor. Click on any number you'd like to change. So let's say we click on the first number. And there you go. If you want to save it, you click on update. Now let's say we want to customize the contact page. We're going to click on contact. Here click edit with Elementor. This is where you can change the location of the map. Update the changes. Now what we want to do is to customize the contact form. So you can get email from your website. So you're going to go ahead and click on your website, go to your dashboard, then click on contact, contact form, mail, and this is where you insert your email address. Here you're going to put the address you want the message to be sent to, so your email address. And here from WordPress at your website. You can change the subject. This will show the name, the subject that the person left, their email, and their message. And once you've made all the changes, you're going to want to click on Save. And then you can click on Visit Site. And if you click on the Contact page, people that leave you a message right here with their email address, their subject, and their message will be sent to your email address. Now one more thing before we stop. I want to show you how to log out. Just need to click on the right top corner right here and click on log out. And if you ever want to log back in, you'll click on your website and then you'll add wp-admin. And this is how you access your dashboard. Thank you very much for watching. This was a quick video to show you how to create a website under 10 minutes. I hope you're going to be able to create your own website. Let me know if you have any questions on the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.